What's going on everybody? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this video. I don't really expect this to get much views, but I'm just wanting to make this to genuinely help out Fallout 76 players. I recently posted my bloody build that I use, and in this video it's going to be the exact opposite. This is my heavy weapon power armor tank build. So on that note, this does not require low health whatsoever. Personally, I like using this build with a vampire's weapon. So I guess I'll start that off with the weapon that I'm using on this build. As you can see, I am using a vampire's Gatlin Plasma with 25% faster fire rate and 15% faster reload. This is considered a god tier vampire's weapon with that 25% faster fire rate and 15% faster reload. If you can find those perks on a weapon, it's definitely a keeper. In my opinion, if you are trying to make a tank build, having a fast fire rate vampire's heavy weapon really helps keep your health stacked because you can just continue firing and keeping your health up. Now let me go ahead and get into the perk cards that I'm using on this build. I will admit, first off, this isn't the most solid perk card setup that you could possibly have, but overall, it's pretty solid. So starting off with my strength category, as you can see, I have it at 15 points, and I have all the heavy gunner perks fully upgraded to get that additional 60% extra damage on my heavy weapons. And then I have bullet shield, which just makes you gain 60 damage resistance while firing a heavy gun. So you just become more of a tank. And I also have blocker, which this is a must if you're trying to be a tank. As you can see, I take 45% less damage from my opponent's melee attacks. I'm not using barbarian because I like to be in power armor during this tank build. Speaking of power armor, let me go ahead and skip over to the intelligence category. The reason I like being in power armor is because, well, this perk card specifically right here. In power armor, heavy guns gain excellent accuracy and ignores 45% armor. This is a pretty crucial perk if you're trying to heavy weapon power armor tank build. I also have first aid in the intelligence category, demolition expert, as well as gunsmith. Gunsmith and first aid could be something different. Honestly, now that I think about it, I may just upgrade first aid to be rank two. Just because I like playing the medic role as well, since I don't really have to use as many stem packs. So that means I'll have more stem packs to use to help my teammates. That's the reason why I have team medic on. My stem pack, my, as you can see, this perk card makes it so my stem packs now also heal nearby teammates for their full strength. I also have two into bodyguards. This perk card makes it so I gain eight damage and energy resistance for each teammate, excluding me. It adds up to a max of 24 extra damage and energy resistance, which is not bad. Also, I got tenderizer in the charisma category as well. It makes my target receive 7% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. This perk card's pretty handy if you're using a heavy weapon with faster fire rate. Also, I have Fireproof in the Endurance, take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. This makes it so Scorch Beast don't hurt you whatsoever, pretty much, from their Screech attack. And in my Perception category, as you can see, I don't really have that much useful perk cards in this one. I could definitely be uh, using something different within this. But anyways, moving on to Agility, I have Covert Operative. My ranged sneak attacks deal 2.5 times normal damage. This really isn't that crucial if you're using a heavy weapon. Uh, tank build, but you know sometimes I do land sneak attacks. I also have escape artist sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth and lastly I have adrenaline. This is a crucial per card if you're running with the build that I am using. This makes it so you gain damage per kill and you can add up to a max of 60% uh, damage if you have the perk card fully maxed to level 5. Which honestly I should have it fully maxed. The stealth perk cards really aren't that useful because I'm supposed to be up front and center with this build. Tanking most of the damage and making it so other people that are utilizing stealth builds can actually utilize them. You know, so the enemies are mainly focused on me instead of the stealth build characters. That's the point of being a tank build. You're supposed to be up front and center, taking most of the damage. Anyways, in my luck category here, I got Bloody Mess, of course. This makes it so you gain 15% bonus damage, but it also means your enemies will now explode into a gory red paste, too. Also, I have One Gun Army. This is a very, very important perk card. If you're running with a heavy weapon, as you can see, heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple a limb. Um, I just want to throw it out there though, when you're using this perk card, be careful on shooting the Scorch Beast Queen up in the air, because that can make the Scorch Beast Queen stay up in the air if you continue staggering her. I'm just going to throw that out there for y'all. Also, lastly, I have Starch Genes. This makes it so I keep my mutations. Which, speaking of mutations, let me go ahead and get into those now. 
I don't have this guy fully set up in mutations, but I do have quite a bit. As you can see, here's the mutations that I'm rocking. Adrenal reaction, healing factor, herd mentality, marsupial, and of course, speed demon. Honestly, I don't know why I have adrenal reaction because that's meant for low health builds. That's something I don't recommend to get as a mutation if you're trying for a high health tank build character. That's just useful for low health. So uh, yeah, that is my setup. Now let's go ahead and get into a little bit of action with this tank build. Let me show you how much I can truly tank. I guess to start this off, let me go over to Gulper Lagoon. All right, I'm over here. At Gulper Lagoon. Uh, I guess I'll pull off a sneak attack here since this Gulper doesn't really recognize me right now. Oh no. Ah, that was a little distracting. But yeah, these guys can just. Here, I'll, I'll let them start attacking me. So as you can see, I'm just tanking their attacks right now, but they aren't really all that high a level. I guess this is kind of a, a bad demonstration. Pretty much as long as I keep firing, I'm not going to die. Let me go to somewhere else. I don't like it how it's so dark right now. Okay, this is better. It's daytime. I can see. All right, now to find a Scorch Beast. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you how much I can tank Scorch Beast with just having that fireproof level three. I don't know if y'all knew about this tactic or not, but yeah, Scorch Beast become pretty weak once you have that fireproof at level three. What the heck are you? Come here, guy. You're drunk. Look, I'm right here. All right, there we go. Check it. Seriously? What in the world is going on? Yes, you found me. So as you can see, I'm not taking any damage whatsoever from it. Wow, these guys are dying from my poison damage with the Strangler Heart power armor. And keep in mind, you don't have to have Strangler Heart to be a tank build. It's just the power armor I'm rocking on this character. But yeah, this Scorch Beast is doing absolutely nothing to me. Definitely a perk card to keep in mind for those of you that get annoyed by him. Whoa, Nelly. Nice, got stuck in the tree. And it's dead. Oh, and by the way, if you do enjoy this build, consider leaving a like. I mean, I know this isn't going to get that much attention, but the more likes that this video gets, the more it gets passed around the community, so more players are aware of this build. As always, though, that's totally up to you. Just leaving a friendly reminder, since I just thought about that. I'm literally just genuinely making this to help players out, because in my previous build video, a lot of you were asking me um, to show off a build that doesn't require low health, and well... Here it is, everyone. But yeah, now I'm going to be heading on over to the Charleston Capitol building and showing you how much I can tank all of these ghouls with the blocker perk card. The blocker perk card helps out tremendously with tanking ghouls. If you have it maxed, once again, you take 45% less melee damage. And as most of you know, most enemies attack you with melee. Besides Scorch Beast, but if you have that fireproof at level 3, as you saw, you don't take much damage whatsoever. From it. You can just tank Scorch Beast screams. And when they come down to you to start hitting you with their wings or whatever, you know, you'll be tanking them as well if you have the blocker perk card maxed. I'm going to give you an example of how much the blocker perk card helps out in here. Because this is the place where you can find the most amount of ghouls. It's a highly underrated area. Most people go to like the White Springs Resort or something, but honestly, there's more ghouls here inside this place. That's the reason why in my top 10 weapons videos, I'm always demonstrating the power of the weapons within here because there's just tons of enemies and you can group them all up as well just by getting them to chase you at this dead end right here. So yeah, let's get all these guys grouped up. Come on, fellas. Alrighty. 
So check this out, everyone. I'll just let them swing on me. To give you an example of how much damage they don't do whatsoever. Come on, guys. You can do better than that. I'm right here. And then when I start to get low health, I'll demonstrate the power of having a vampire's weapon. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting low health. Check it. Now my health will just go right back up. I have no worries whatsoever. Oh my gosh, I gotta reload. Now I'm, I'm a little worried. No, no I'm not. No I'm not, I take that back. I was a little concerned at first. But yeah. <laughs> oh man. This build feels like I'm cheating, man. <laughs> it's like I'm invincible. This is definitely a build you can just, once again, be up front and center. Especially against the Scorch Beast Queen. And just keep blasting on her. As long as you keep blasting on her, your health should stay up. Even if you're not blasting on her. With the right perk cards, as you just saw, you can tank Scorch Beast. And melee attacks in general with having that blocker perk card. It's crucial. I know I can kind of repeat myself a little bit by saying that over and over. But I'm just trying to get it jarred in y'all's head that those are pretty important perk cards to have within a tank build. Personally, I like running heavy weapon tank builds just because of the vampire's effect. You know, they shoot extremely fast. They have plenty of ammunition within them. So it helps keep my health to stay up because of the vampire's effect. And not to mention, I'll go ahead and show you all one more time the perk cards that specifically go with heavy weapons, such as the one gun army, the stabilized perk card, which is a very, very important perk card to have, especially for rock and power armor, and uh, bullet shield. <laughs> yeah, this is an amazing perk card to have to, once again, become a tank. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everybody. Just wanted to show you my power armor heavy weapon tank build real quick. I know, once again, some perk cards could be a little bit better within this build, but overall, it's a very solid build. And I highly recommend y'all to try it out if you're looking for a solid high health build to use. Because like I mentioned before, one of the reasons why I did make this is because a lot of you were recommending me to show off a build that we could use that doesn't require low health. And, well, here you all go, everyone, that was wanting this. Hopefully you found this enjoyable, and if you did, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like once again. And, hey, maybe if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance and sticking around subscribing for more Fallout 76 content. As always, though, all of that is totally up to you. At least, thanks for taking the time watching and listening. Until next time, though, everyone, peace.